Hey guys, or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I know I look a mess right now and hopefully I will be going through a little bit of a transformation in this video. Um, we are 12 days out from our trip to Orlando which is so exciting. I'm going to show you all the things that I like to do before a trip, um, any holiday type trip really but I feel like I'm going the extra mile with this one because it is for two weeks. I've not been away for two weeks since I was a child and of course it's Disneyland, Disney World so lots of pictures are going to be taken, lots of memories are going to be made so I really want to feel like I look my best, I want to feel my best. So if you follow my channel then you'll know how much of a struggle and how much hard work it's actually been to make sure this trip actually happens, particularly over the last month or so. Um, my daughter does have complex medical needs so sorting out her insurance, making sure she's fit to fly, all of that, everything kind of came out of the woodwork in the last month and it's made the build up quite stressful so I feel as though now is the right time to treat myself a little bit. Now I don't go to salons, um, number one, we don't have the money after paying for this trip to go to salons and number two, um, when I was younger I actually trained to do a lot of these treatments myself so I save the money and do them myself at home. I'm not doing everything in one day, it's kind of going to be spaced out over the next couple of weeks before the trip. Today my task is to bleach this mop. So hair is not actually something that I trained to do, it's just something I've picked up as I've gotten older. I only ever do my own or my mum's hair and I just find that I can place the blonde where I want it instead of trying to explain it to a stylist. Plus it's cheaper to do it myself so I've been doing it myself now for years and years and years. Um, I don't like to add too much blonde just because I find having the dimension means it's not going to grow out as quickly. Um, but I do like the front to be nice and bright. So I know that there are some of you that don't particularly care for this kind of content and that is fine. Um, the bulk of my channel is not really changing in any way. Um, I'm not switching up my content, don't worry. It is just because this is what I happen to be doing right now in prep for our trip. And this is actually the last video that I'm going to be filming before we go away. Um, there will still be content uh, while I'm away. It's all things that I've pre-filmed. A lot of it is kind of Orlando prep. So my pack with me is in there and a few other things that I've pre-filmed. Um, once I'm back and, uh, you know, situated, uh, my content will be going back to its usual stuff. Um, I will obviously be doing like a, um, a kind of trip report, probably a haul of what we've got out there, how I felt um, Orlando in general catered to special needs, which I do have very high hopes for. Um, but once that is over, it will be back to normal content. So I've actually been trying to be really, really good to my hair. Um, as you guys know, I cut a fringe not so long ago and I absolutely hated it. So I've been trying to treat my hair kindly in an effort to get it to grow. Um, has it worked? I really don't know. But as you can probably see by the amount of growth that is in my hair, if you can see, because I'm not 100% sure what this lighting is going to be like, it has grown out quite a bit, which I am happy with. So right now I'm literally just sectioning out where I want the placement to be, because um, I know I'm going to be doing a bit of a mixture of like techniques. Yeah, I'm not going to be putting too many foils in, but it does always seem to take me a long time because I'm doing it on myself and I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. I always end up in a mess. That's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so the foils are in 
Um, I have actually taken a couple out in the very, very front already because as you can see, it's quite blonde and I'm just a little bit apprehensive that those pieces are quite fragile and I really don't want to, them to snap them off. So I'd rather they be a tad on the yellow side than literally breaking. So yeah, I'm just waiting for this to develop now or bleach and then I will wash it out. <laughs> that took me long. It took me a really long time. <laughs> Luckily Josh is home today, so don't worry. Avery is not on her own. I can hear the boys in the room next door. They are playing, which is nice to hear because they're not fighting. Um, Avery's downstairs with Josh, so yeah. Now to let this cook. just washed the toner out and much happier with the toners that now it was a little bit too stark and bright for me before this i used the shades eq toners they work really really well and yeah happy with it at the moment obviously i've still got to um brush it out and stuff like i said i'm trying to take a bit of extra care of my hair so i've been using this leave-in conditioner before i brush it after i wash it and it's called african pride olive miracle I think it's actually designed for African hair. I found it on Amazon, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a massive tub. It's really inexpensive and it works really, really well. So I literally just take about that much. As a matter of fact, I might have actually used a bit too much here, but I don't mind since I just bleached the absolute crap out of my hair and I kind of just work it into the ends. And then when there's a much less left on my hands, I'll go through kind of the front pieces where my hair is more fragile it makes it really soft makes it easier to brush through if i was blow drying my hair i'd use, use this this is the jerome russell b styled blow dry balm um again i quite like this um this is the same brand that um, i used for the bleach for my hair as well and then obviously i use heat protectant if i'm gonna straighten it or curl it or whatever and then once it's um, dry and styled, I'll pop a little bit of this oil in the ends. Just trying to keep my hair as healthy as possible. I'm pretty sure all those products I bought on Amazon and they were all inexpensive. And I do feel as though my hair is a bit healthier than it was. So I don't think I'm going to blow dry it right now. Um, just because it's taken me ages and I've been away from Avery for a long time. I know she's with Josh, but... I want to go and spend some time with her so I will show you my hair again once it is dried and styled. It is a few hours later now my hair is dry I've just finished styling it so I'm just gonna pop a tiny little bit of oil through it just to try and keep it as healthy as possible as healthy as it can be um, so I think it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to how bright it is in the front. I mean, I wanted it bright in the front, that's what I wanted and that's what I've got. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just not used to seeing it, so... <laughs> I'm not used to seeing it, so I need a bit of time just to get used to it. But it's feeling good, it's not feeling too damaged, I didn't get much breakage when I was washing out the bleach, so that is good. That is it finished. I think the only thing I'm a bit annoyed about is um, I wanted to do back to back slices. I didn't want to do kind of highlights or anything. I wanted, you know, bold blonde in the front. But I think um, here looks a little bit too kind of diagonal, um, especially since I like to wear my hair quite sleek behind my ears at the moment. Um, it hides my fringe, what it normally does. Um, when I have a bit of texturizing powder in it 
I haven't put any in yet because we're not going anywhere today and I don't want to bulk up my hair with too many products for no reason. So when we go somewhere, I will pop some texturizing powder in and then that will keep these two bits kind of sleek and behind my ears. But overall, I'm happy with it. Nice and bright. So that is one thing off the checklist. Morning guys, it is Easter Sunday. So happy Easter. Obviously by the time you see this video, it's not gonna be Easter anymore, but I hope you all had a lovely Easter weekend. Um, we are off to my mum's later on this afternoon to have Easter dinner. Yesterday I painted my toenails, ready for our trip. I didn't film that because I have a weird thing about feet. I don't like the sight or feel of feet. Unless it's Avery's feet. I don't mind Avery's feet. I don't mind the boys' feet too much. But adult feet, they just kind of gross me out. So I thought I would uh, have some sympathy for those who are the same and spare you the, uh, the sight of my feet. Anyway, today, this morning, before we go, I am going to perm my eyelashes. This is something I like to do every now and again if I've got a special event coming up. Or particularly if I'm going on a trip and I know that I'm not going to want to be putting on tons of makeup all the time or wearing false eyelashes but still want to look nice. I will be tinting them but not today. I'll probably do that a little bit closer to the time. The perm does hold up pretty well which is why I'm doing it quite early because we are 10 days out now. This is the kit that I use. I'm pretty certain I got it on Amazon but I can't remember 100%. Um, the lift pads normally go in there, but I've just been messing around. As you can see, these are the ones that I normally use, which is why they are a bit grotty looking. Apologies for that. Um, but basically, it's a system that you follow. The only thing I don't use in this kit is the glue because I find that it doesn't work very well. I use eyelash glue once again. This has been used the hell out of so it is really grotty. So I apologize for that. I will be using a different glue, my newer glue for a stage in the process just because it works better than that but i'll just use this to glue the lift pads to my eyelids it doesn't take me long at all to be fair so i'm gonna crack on and do this josh is downstairs with the kiddies zach and eli have already tucked into their eggs so we are in front of my big mirror again i am just gonna tie my hair back so that it doesn't get into any of the glue i'm gonna start by putting a bit of the lash glue onto the lift pads and i'm gonna let that go a bit tacky so i've just cleaned my eyelids and now i'm just gonna apply the pads onto my eyes there is fluff everywhere and i'm trying not to get that into my eyelashes so obviously as you can tell i look absolutely insane and i will look insane until the process is finished now it's not the easiest thing to do on yourself i'm not gonna lie um i've done it a few times now though and i always manage um to get it to look nice now that the lift pads are on i'm gonna use my other lash glue the one that's not um <laughs> grotty and just pop some of that onto the pad and again i'm just gonna let that go tacky for a couple of minutes right now that that's gone tacky i'm just using this is just um like a cotton swab that i've cut the end off and i'm just going to use the end to start lifting my eyelashes up onto the pad and hopefully they should stick sorry about the angle of a lot of the footage in this video like this whole big mirror thing i can't think of a better way to do it um, just because the mirror is directly in front of me, there's nowhere to put the camera kind of in front of the mirror. So now that all my lashes are kind of placed on the pads, I'm going to use the perming solution and I'm just going to smother my eyelashes in that. I'm going to try and not get it on the tips of my lashes just because those are the most fragile parts and really the perm you want at the base. The perming solution is on and I've just popped a little bit of cling film over each of my eyelashes. This is actually what you're supposed to do. A um, little bit apprehensive about this eye just because the lash glue is black and I had to use quite a bit of it to get the lashes to lift. And I can't see the placement perfectly so I'm a bit worried that they're going to be a bit all over the place because it's, it's important where they're placed on the pad because where you put them that's where they're going to perm. Um, so I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then I'll take it off, pop the um, fixation liquid on and then I'll let that sit for a few minutes and then I can take it all off and wash it all off. Hey guys, we are now eight days from our trip and um, 
I didn't actually show you my eyelashes the other day and that is purely because I ended up getting in a right faff with it all. Um, this side didn't actually take at all so I ended up having to re-perm them which is kind of risky because I could have essentially fried my eyelashes off but I took the risk and I used a smaller uh, lift pad which has meant that each side is slightly different. I mean, I'm really not sure how noticeable it is. This side is just a bit more kind of lifted, whereas this side has a bit more of a curl. But I have noticed that this side just has better eyelashes. I think a lot of people find that one side of your face just behaves better than the other. Like this eyebrow behaves better than this one as well. But anyway, um, they're finished now. And overall, I am happy with them, um, especially if I want to uh, make them look even fuller. They'll look even nicer with mascara. So yeah but for non-makeup days i think it just makes me feel a little bit more put together so i figured i haven't actually shown you my skincare routine in a little while uh, that is why we are in my bathroom i did show you guys the things that i had purchased a few weeks ago now um what i've kind of noticed particularly over the last few months is my skin type has changed massively I was led to believe when I was younger that I had oily skin predominantly because I was acne prone and I had large pores. I don't think that was really correct. I think maybe I had more combination skin, but now my skin is so, so dry, like unbelievably dry. I've never known it to be this bad. Um, but again, what I've also found with my skin, especially when it comes to skincare, is less is more so if i go in with uh, a really religious skincare routine day and night with lots of different products my skin doesn't react well to it so um what i have tried to do is only use products that i feel like my skin needs at the time so um excuse the dripping by the way if you can hear that noise that dripping noise is irritating me but we are in the bathroom so if i feel like my skin is extremely dry at a part of the day then i will try and go in with more kind of hydrating products um if not then i'll use other products and then sometimes especially if i've washed my face in the morning already i will usually not wash it again or put any more skincare products on my skin for the rest of the day i've just found my skin responds to that a little bit better than scrubbing at it twice a day every day i think my skin is just a little bit more sensitive than it used to be and the way my skin tends to react badly if it's going to react is either i'll get really bad dry patches or i will get like um almost like acne or like just reactive skin so not necessarily kind of like cystic acne but sort of rash like spots and it's really frustrating um, I didn't put any skincare on last night, so I am going to this morning. My skin is feeling really, really dry. Naturally, I'm going to start with cleanser, and this has not changed at all. I'm still using my CeraVe Salicylic Acid, Acid Cleanser. I really don't feel the need to change this. However, if I'm wearing makeup, then I will use a cleansing balm, which is a little bit more oily and a little bit more hydrating. Just because if I'm wearing makeup, then I do like to double cleanse and I don't want to strip my skin too, too much. But just for a normal cleanse, just to get rid of the muck from the night before, then I'll just use this one. I can't really comment on how good it is at smoothing the skin just because my skin is very dry at the moment. But what I will say is it keeps my skin clean. It doesn't break me out. And that is essentially really what I look for in skincare. And then I will just use a flannel and some warm water to take it off. Um, I don't normally rub up my face like this with a flannel. I know it's not really recommended because it can age your skin a bit quicker because you're essentially dragging your skin around. But like I said, my skin is feeling really dry at the minute. So I'm just kind of doing this as a bit of an exfoliant. I don't use, um, you know, like scrubs or anything like that. I find that just kind of gently rubbing over my skin with a flannel because the flannel's quite abrasive anyway, does a good enough job. I am using the viewfinder to actually see what I'm doing at the minute as well. So um, I don't have a mirror, so apologies if I'm looking a bit weird. So now toner and toner is never a step that I skip. I just find it keeps my skin clear. At the minute I'm still using my L'Oreal um, Fine Flowers Toner. This one is um, the Rose and Jasmine one for dry and sensitive skin. It says it improves impurities, invigorates and smooths. 
Um, I did buy a new one, this one, and this is the Carbon Theory uh, Tea Tree and Citric Acid Toner. I do really like this. Um, if I'm not washing my face in the morning or doing skincare, I will just use some of this to clear, uh, clean and clear my skin instead. Um, that does keep my skin nice and clear. I'm sorry, the amount of times you've probably heard Zach screaming in this vlog. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm using this one today, again, is because my skin is dry. And I am just trying to use as many moisturising products as I can. While my skin is a bit damp still, I'm going to go in with the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from the Inky List. Um, I switched between two serums and again a serum isn't always something I use in my skincare routine it depends if I feel like my skin needs it um, but if I am then I will usually use hyaluronic acid in the morning because um, it's better for hydration and my skin tends to feel drier in the mornings and in the evening, if I'm going to use a serum, I will use my um, Brightening Booster Serum with Vitamin C from Boots. Um, it's supposed to be good for kind of dark spots and keeping your skin even and whatnot. And I do have an issue with uneven skin tone just because my skin can get quite red in spots. And I have this darkness on my upper lip, which frustrates the heck out of me because it looks like a moustache in certain angles. <laughs> Normally at this point I'd just go straight in with my moisturiser but because I'm in prep for a holiday and I'm just trying to make my skin the best it can be, I am going to use um, some moisturising masks. Again, I'm sticking with moisturising because I don't want to irritate my skin anymore and I just want to hydrate it. So I've still got this um, Ted Baker sheet mask from um, my advent calendar at Christmas time and in another day I also got a moisturising eye mask so I thought it'd be nice to use these two paired together and while I'm doing that I'm also gonna um, use one of my teeth whitening strips so I use the Glow 32 if you can see that there you go yeah Glow 32 um, they sell these on Amazon I think they also sell them in boots I have 14 of them so I'm just using one a day in the lead up to the trip I've got some stains on my teeth here in the front I've actually had um, fun fact actually um, the teeth that are next to your two big teeth uh, one of mine is missing on this side I actually had a canine directly next to my big tooth on this side um, I had it kind of shaved down by the dentist um, just to make it look a little bit more even but ever since then that tooth has always been a bit rough and I get stains on it really easily and I just get stains in between these two teeth really easily so I'm just trying to make my teeth look a little bit nicer the kit came with 14 of these and also like a whitening pen which I'm going to take on holiday with me so excuse my facial expression <laughs> while I do this I am just gonna pop one on the top okay and those stay on for 20 to 30 minutes um, they do make you talk a little bit funny while you've got them in but I normally just pop them in and just carry on with my day and while those are doing their job I'm going to pop on these masks these smell really really good and they're really cooling as well which is nice so I'm going to leave those on my under eye and then I'm just going to pop the sheet mask on this smells really really good as well Okay, so I'm going to leave these on for about 15 minutes or so and then I'll be back. So it's been about 15 minutes or so, so I'm going to take these masks off now. Now I'm just going to pat those serums into my skin. So I flip between two moisturisers. I use the vitamin C one from Boots. This is just Boots own brand. Um... I really like the Ulla Henriksen um, Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, um, but I was just trying to save a bit of money, so I went for this one instead. And then my new one is the Elf Happy Hydration Cream, and I think because the theme is hydration today, I'm going to stick with this one. Um, the Vitamin C one is kind of more of a sort of watery kind of consistency, whereas this one is much thicker and creamier and i do feel like even though it doesn't give me as much of a glow as the other one it does a better job of really soaking into my skin and kind of helping get rid of some of those dry patches 
I've also started getting this really dry rash all down my neck and I don't know what is causing it. The last time my skin was like this was when I was in Crete in October and I thought that maybe it was just the plane that I'd done that with kind of like, you know, the recirculated air and whatnot and the air conditioning. So I really don't know what it is. Maybe it's just stress. But now that I've done all that, I'm just gonna take off Ugh, these teeth whitening strips. I can tell that it's not been sitting on my bottom teeth properly because there's a line of where you can kind of see the color difference. What I've noticed with these strips is they do a really good job at kind of giving you instant brightness. I can't say I've noticed a huge difference using them over a few days, but I've still got a good few more days to go. So now I'm just gonna brush my teeth to get rid of all the residue. It says you can rinse it out, but I find it doesn't work. So apart from the face mask, that is essentially my little daily self-care routine. Um, I do try and do my skincare and my teeth whitening at the moment every single day. Um, I don't know why it takes me to have like a trip coming up to be good to myself like that. It shouldn't really take that at all. Um, but skincare, I, I am quite religious with. Um, like I said, I skip it if I feel like my skin would benefit from it. Um, but that is kind of the only thing that I really do every day. The little tiny little bit of time I take for myself every day and make myself feel as though I am looking after myself. So this is what my teeth are looking like after the whitener. Like I said, they look really nice for a while, but then the next day I kind of feel as though they've um, gone back to a few shades darker. Um, whether or not that's in my head, I don't know. I'll kind of give my final verdict, a verdict I suppose when I've used them all up. So I figured some of you might be a little bit dis disappointed if I didn't uh, feature Avery at least once in this little vlog I put in. Um, as you can see, we're all having a bit of a pajama day. We do tend to have quite a few pajama days in the school holidays, just because school days are always such a rush. Um, you've always get up, gotta get up and dress and out of the house. It is just really nice to put on a fresh pair of pajamas and feel comfy for the rest of the day. Avery is doing really, really well. She's a happy girly today, aren't you, Pudding? Are you excited for your holiday? Hey? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I am very, very on edge at the moment, um, given the recent events and Avery's hospital admission and her seizures and whatnot, I am absolutely terrified that she is gonna get sick before we go, um, not that I think, you know, there's a reason why she would get sick, it's just I'm nervous about it, Eli is snuffly at the moment, Zach said he had a bit of a sore throat this morning, with Eli, I'm not too sure what it is because that kid has always got a cold. So I'm wondering, perhaps it could be hay fever. So I've ordered him some hay fever medicine. I'm going to see if that helps. And I've just asked him to try his hardest not to kind of put his face too close to Avery at the moment, just in case. Obviously, a minor cold for you or I or my boys or most people um can be quite quite serious for avery um so i'm just trying my hardest not to get her let, let her get ill because if we end up having another event like we did on her birthday this trip would kind of be game over for us and we have been trying so hard we're at a point now where we have everything everything's ready to go we are literally just counting down now i am just very nervous and i think just because we've been waiting for it for so long I've just I've just got this mindset that it's not going to happen, something's going to go wrong. I don't feel like I'll actually believe that we're going. My goodness. Um, I don't feel like I'll actually believe that we're going until we're actually on the plane. What do you reckon, Puds? Um, I spent the day yesterday, well not the day, I spent a bit of time yesterday downloading all of Avery CBeebies favourites onto my iPad. However, if that fails, then luckily on Virgin Airlines you can pay for Wi-Fi. So if that's the case, I can get CBeebies live for her, um, which is an option. It's an option if she starts to get bored or fussy. We are pretty much packed. We do have some last minute bits. Um, I've got a pile of things that keep accumulating. Um, all of Avery's medicines, the majority of them can be packed. It's just the ones that we're using right now um, that need to stay out, obviously. Um, but for the majority of her medicines, we are needing to take more than one bottle because we're going for... It's okay. 
because we're going for two weeks we'll end up running out of the bottle we're using while we're out there so i need to take a second bottle but yeah we are pretty much good to go there's just a few more things that i need to get done um in the next week i cannot believe that it is a week tomorrow that we're going i'm so excited um i just wanted to mention as well by the way i think i've said before already this is the last video that i'm filming before we go away i'm not sure if you will see this one um do you know what the likelihood is you will probably either see it on the day that we're actually going or when we're already there um i've mentioned before that i don't plan to do anything on my phone in terms of youtube while i'm away i just want to be present and in the moment um, I would like you to leave any questions that you have in the comments though because even though I'm not going to be responding to comments um, when I get back I will have a look for questions and compile them into a QA and a so I can answer them when I get back and I will definitely um, post pictures and stuff on Instagram even if you know it's not while we're away i might post some stuff on instagram while we're away but if not then i imagine instagram will be the first place that any pictures will show up so definitely keep an eye on my instagram if you're looking forward to seeing any holiday pictures because i know there are a few of you that are quite excited to hear about the experience hey guys we are seven days out we're one week out and i'm about to sort out my jewelry situation i know that sounds really weird but what i'm planning to do is just wear all of my jewelry that i'm taking all of the time that way i haven't got to worry about taking like any jewelry pouches or losing anything i'm not at all worried about getting the majority of my jewelry wet because um i have mentioned before i do buy my gold jewelry from brands that do um non-tarnished gold plated jewelry so it doesn't um fade in the water or tarnish i can wear it in the shower i can wear it in the sea in a pool whatever so that doesn't fuss me too too much there are quite a few different brands that i've tried now um and all of them have worked really really well um i like nevea i do have a discount code for them um i like d louise um, I like Boho Moon, um, there's lots of different jewellery brands now that do non-tarnished gold plated jewellery and I just think it's a no brainer really because you get the kind of luxury of gold jewellery without having to pay the price tag for real gold. So I've just taken off my kind of middle length necklace and I'm just popping everything in my little jewellery box. I can't remember where I got this from now but I really like it, I think a lot of places do them. It just has a compartment up here for necklaces, mine's a bit messy at the minute. Um, a part for earrings and then a part down there for rings and bracelets and whatnot so i'm just popping my middle length necklace away and then i think my plan is to not wear pendants at all i quite like the look of um necklaces when they are just chains and what i don't want is um to get like tan lines um where pendants are i think i'm less likely to get tan lines with chains because i can kind of move them around and they will kind of move around on their own whereas pendants they tend to kind of just sit where they are and then you end up with a funny looking tan line so i think i'm just gonna stick with these two chains i think they look really nice together in terms of bracelets um again i'm trying to think of what is likely to sit in the same place and then cause a funky looking tan line so i'm not going to take my nomination bracelet that one is going to stay at home and then i've got these three bracelets again these are all the gold plated non-tarnished jewelry and i think what i'm going to do i'm going to end up putting one over the other side so on my other wrist i'm not going to take my watch with me again just because i don't want a white patch there um and then i'm gonna pop on this br this bracelet as well this one um josh actually bought for me in disneyland paris it has lumiere in it i think it's really really sweet however i'm just gonna leave this out on the side i'm not gonna actually put this on until like the day before we go because i don't know if i can get that one wet without it tarnishing earrings in terms of these ones these are all gonna stay the same i'm gonna keep these on i am gonna switch out my um earrings from my new piercings i think i'm gonna do that now um they said to leave them for six to eight weeks and it's been nearly eight weeks now um i am a little bit nervous about it i'm not gonna lie but i just feel like especially because i'm changing my conch out to a hoop um if the hoop doesn't fit because i was a bit apprehensive that it wouldn't fit when i bought it um 
I've got a little bit more time to try and find something else that will go in there. So I bought two really pretty pieces to go in these two piercings. I'll show you them once I've got them in. I think I'm just gonna go away now and try and get these in. I think if I try and film it, I'll end up just stressing myself out. I hear that um, librettes, the ball is quite hard to get off anyway. So I need full concentration. So I'll be back in a minute and I'll let you know if I manage to do it. So I managed to get them in and I think you can probably tell how long it took me by the fact that my fringe is already dry. Um, so there is the conch piercing. It's quite dainty so I know it's, it's a bit difficult to see but it's just a little hoop with some like uh, gems in it. And then that side is my tragus, which does look a little bit bigger there than I thought it would, but it's fine. I like the sparkle, so really happy with those. My things to do for the rest of the week. The weekend is more kind of beauty, health and beauty type things, but not for myself. On Saturday, I've offered to do my mum a few treatments just so that she can feel nice for the trip. Sunday, I need to cut all of the boys' hair, so all three, um, and Josh as well and um yeah monday i think i'm gonna do my nails i've actually ordered some really really cute mickey head shaped um like glitter that i'm gonna try and use in my nails i'll probably post a picture of them on instagram and then tuesday i've got so much to do on tuesday i'm not dreading it because i'm excited because it'll be the day before we go but i know i'm gonna have a lot to do that day and it's gonna be quite stressful but I think I am going to close this vlog off here just so that I can give myself the next week to get this video edited and um, scheduled and just make sure I have everything done without the pressure of kind of YouTube type stuff. So with that said, don't forget to follow my Instagram if you want to see any updates of our trip or any photos and stuff. And um, you guys will still see videos over the next few weeks. However, uh, they are all pre-filmed and will be scheduled and ready to go while we're away. So I will chat with you guys again when we're back from Orlando. Bye guys.